Well, it's Tuesday. I've been here in Hendersonville for two weeks now. And uh, having trouble with the doors closing in my trailer. And I thought, I thought, well, it's got to be the trailer's not level, level enough. So I just spent like an hour going around, making sure my trailer was level in every which way. And the more I leveled this trailer, the poorer the doors would close. And when I was on Ivy Acres, I would contort and twist the whole trailer so the doors, I thought, oh, if the doors are closing right, then the trailer's right. So I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. Close the door. You see if you can get a... You see what I mean? The door won't even close. There's a quarter inch gap over here and it's hitting over here and it won't close. And this has been driving me nuts. And I I thought it was because I didn't have the trailer leveled properly. So uh, I finally got my level, level out and both jams are level, okay? However, when I got the square out, look, screen door gets all bound up. This is going to tell you what's going on here. Yeah, look, it's tight down here, and it's a half inch off over here. So, when they put this door in, they didn't bother. They didn't bother using a the square. They just leveled it. You can't level doors. Because it doesn't matter if these two... It doesn't matter if that jam and this jam are level. Because if it's shifted, it's not going to be square. And the most important thing for a door frame to be is square. Because the door is manufactured square. So I'm telling you, as soon as I get that money from pandemic, it's going to my attorney to finalize my, uh, my tool. I owe him like another five grand. And it's not gonna make any difference to me. I don't need the money. I can live the way I am right now very comfortably on social security. And, uh, but my grandkids, they're gonna have a patent. It'll be worth 20 years. And they will be, they'll want to know who I am and they'll have a whole library of videos that I produce to show them who it was that never gave up after 20 years of working on this thing, the store jam square. And that's it. So that's my plan. I'm going to buy a lot when I get that money and then I'm going to finish my patent and uh, I'm going to sell the patent rights and the royalties and leave it in my will. To my grandkids, not to my kids, because you know when they don't want to fucking know you. You know, it's like once they reach a certain age, they're like what Jim Gaffigan said. Uh, See ya. Nice knowing you. Uh, we'll call you when we need money or when we're in trouble. That's it. But I'll leave it to the grandkids. So uh, future grandkids too. So if any of you guys have kids, Alex, Zach, Kevin, uh, you all get your share. Anyway, that's Wild Bell. I'm out. See ya.